Hello boys and girls, this is Teacher Michael, and today I'd like to talk to you about line plots. Well, what is a line plot? A line plot is a quick and easy way to display and organize some information. Let's take a closer look at a line plot so that way we can easily identify or see what is a line plot and what's not a line plot. So in our example, we have some animals and we also see the heights of each of the animals. Now, I'm guessing these are stuffed animals because the heights are kind of small. So I see one animal, the panda is 33 centimeters, and other animals are 30, 29. I see another animal that's 30. So if we look at our line plot, and the line plot is this section of information right here with X's and numbers, we'll see all of the heights of the animals listed at the bottom. We'll also see some X's right above. Now those X's represent, each X represents one animal. So I know that by looking at this line plot, there is one animal that is 29 centimeters tall. And that is true because if you look at the animals, you can see that the mouse is 29 centimeters tall. If you look at the line plot, you will also see that there are three animals that are 30 centimeters tall. Those animals are one, two, and three. Those three animals are represented by these three X's. So I hope you can begin to see that a line plot is really just a nice, easy way to organize information. So based on this, can you tell me how many animals are 32 centimeters tall? Well, let's go over to 32 centimeters and see. Well, I see that there are two X's, so I know that there are two stuffed animals that are 32 centimeters tall. And if we go back and we look at our picture, we can see that the alligator is 32 centimeters tall and so is the donkey. So this is what we use our line plot for. Let's read the directions for our worksheet, what is a line plot, and get started right away. Which pictures below show line plots? Check the correct answers. Okay, let's take a look at this first graph right here. So this first graph is really nice. It shows everyone's favorite animals. You can see mice, lizards, cats, and dogs. Although it's a really nice way to display information, it is not a line plot. Here's why. One reason it's not a line plot is it doesn't have the numbers on the bottom that our line plot had in the example. Also, this graph has colorful bars and not X's. So these are two reasons that this graph is not a line graph. This graph is actually called a bar graph. And it's another great way to organize information. But it is not a line plot. Let's take a look at our next picture. Our next picture shows the heights of plants. And already I'm beginning to think it is a line plot. First of all, I see the numbers on the bottom, just like in my example. So I think that is one reason it is a line plot. Another reason I think it's a line plot is I see the X's above some of the numbers. So this tells me that for heights of the plants, there are three plants that are at two. There are also two plants that are at three. This is the same kind of information that we got from our line plot in the example. So I think that this picture is a line plot. Let's go ahead and check it. Let's look at our next picture. Our next picture has the numbers on the bottom and has the title of the grass size of TVs. So using this graph, I can see that one TV is 26, another TV is tw two TVs are 27 because there are two dots. So does this look like a line plot? I think so. Even though it doesn't have the X's like our example and the other picture we saw, it does have dots to represent each TV. And whether it's a dot or an X, they're set up in the same way. They have the numbers on the bottom and each dot or X represents just one TV. So this is a line plot. Let's go ahead and check it. Our final picture is really awesome also, but it is not a line plot. This is a picture graph. I know that because there are pictures. I can see the pictures of the apples, of the kiwis and the bananas and the strawberries. Another reason I know it's not a line plot is because there's no numbers on the bottom. We have the names of the fruits. So this is a classic picture graph. Remember, boys and girls, that when you're looking for a line plot, you can look for the numbers on the bottom and the X's 
or dots above the numbers that represent just one. Each X or dot just represents one TV or one animal. Thanks for watching, boys and girls, and we're sure to see you next time. Hello, boys and girls. It's Teacher Michael with Kids Academy, and today I'd like to talk to you about line plots. In a previous video, we learned what line plots are and how to easily recognize them. Today, we're going to use a line plot to answer some questions. So, let's begin by studying our line plot, then we'll read the directions to the worksheet and get started right away. So, in today's line plot, it's all about the length of pencils in centimeters. I can tell that just by looking at the title. I can see that the different lengths of the pencils are 18 centimeters, 19 centimeters, 20, 21, and 22 centimeters. I notice that each length, 18 through 22, has at least one pencil at that height. So I'm going to use this basic information to help me start understanding the line plot, and then we can look at the questions and easily answer them. Let's read the directions and get started right away. Tom measured the length of his colored pencils. Use the line plot to answer the questions below. Check the correct answers. Okay, so we already looked at the line plot to begin with. Now, we'll read each question and revisit the line plot each time. So, let's look at the first question. Number one says, how many pencils are 18 centimeters long? Okay, so we're going to go right to the number 18. And we're lucky it's our first number. Now, I remember when we learned about line plots, we learned that each dot, or each X, really represents just one. So in this case, each dot just represents one colored pencil. So, to figure out how many pencils are 18 centimeters long, we just have to count the dots that are above 18. Let's count them together. There are one, two, three, four, five dots, meaning that there are five pencils that are 18 centimeters long. Let's go ahead and check five. Now, let's read the second question. How many pencils are 20 centimeters long? Now, for this question, we're going to have to go to the 20 on the line plot. So, I found the 20. Now, I want to know how many pencils are 20 centimeters long. Again, each dot represents just one pencil, so we can just go ahead and count the dots. Let's count them together. There are one, two, three, four dots, meaning there are four colored pencils that are 20 centimeters long. Let's go ahead and check four. The last question reads, what is the length of the longest pencils? Okay, I remember when we first looked at this graph, we said the pencils went from 18 centimeters long to 22 centimeters long. So, what's the length of the longest pencils? Her answer choices are 22, 24, and 23. Does our line plot go up to 23 or 24? It doesn't. I know that the longest pencils shown on this graph are 22 centimeters long. So let's go ahead and check 22 centimeters. Remember, boys and girls, that when you're trying to answer questions based off a line plot, first, look at the line plot before you even answer any questions. See what you notice about the line plot. Then, read each question carefully and look back at the line plot each time to help you answer the questions. Thanks for watching, boys and girls, and we'll see you next time. Hello, boys and girls. It's Teacher Michael, and today I'd like to help you make your very own line plots. Now, in order to do this, we're going to measure some toy airplanes. So let's get started with measuring the airplanes so that way we can make our very own line plot. So we're going to use a ruler to help us measure these airplanes. All of our airplanes are going to start at the zero mark on our centimeter ruler, and we'll be measuring in centimeters, and we'll have to follow the airplane to the end, to the dotted line, to see exactly how long each airplane is. We'll keep track of the lengths of each airplane, so that way it'll help us make our line plot. Let's get started. So I see our first green airplane. It starts at zero, and it ends at seven. So I know our first green airplane is seven centimeters long. Our second airplane, the gray airplane, starts at zero centimeters and it ends at 10 centimeters. So I know I have an airplane that's 10 centimeters long. And our final airplane on this side starts at zero centimeters and ends at 12 centimeters. 
so I know I have an airplane that's 12 centimeters long. Let's take a look at the next three airplanes. We have another green little airplane, and it starts at zero and ends at seven, so we have another airplane that's seven centimeters long. I'll draw a line to the two seven so I remember that there's two of them. My second airplane is this gray airplane. It starts at zero, and this one also ends at 12. So this is also 12 centimeters long. So let's go ahead and draw a line to our two 12s. And finally, our last big airplane starts at zero and ends at 14. So I know this airplane is 14 centimeters long. Can you find a data set below that matches those numbers? Well, I know I need two sevens. So first, let's look at the first set of numbers and see if there's two sevens. Eight, 12, 14, seven, four. This can't be right because there's not two sevens. Our second data set has a seven, a 12, a 10, a 14. That's good so far. It has another seven and another 12. So it has two sevens and two 12s, just like our numbers. So I think this is correct. So let's look at the last set just to be sure. And in this set, I only see one seven, so this can't be correct. So the middle set of numbers is correct. Now, what I like to do when I'm making a line plot is I like to put the numbers in order. So I'll write my two sevens. I know that I also have one 10. I have two 12s and a 14. So now it's my job to make my very own line plot. So let's represent our airplane on this line plot. So I know that there's two sevens, and each X represents one airplane. So under seven, I'll trace two X's. The next number we come across is eight, except none of my toy airplanes were eight centimeters long, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave eight blank. The same thing goes for nine. None of my toy airplanes were nine centimeters long, so again, I'm not gonna trace any X's because none of my airplanes were nine centimeters long. What about 10 centimeters long? How many airplanes were 10 centimeters long? Just one. So how many X's are there? Just one. Let's go ahead and trace one X right above 10. How many airplanes were 11 centimeters long? None. So no X's under 11. What about 12? Well, for 12, there were two airplanes that were 12 centimeters long. So we're going to go ahead and trace two X's, one for each airplane. So let's go ahead and one for one airplane and another one for the second airplane. Were there any airplanes that were 13 centimeters long? I don't think so. So again, we'll leave this blank. And finally, there was one airplane that was 14 centimeters long. So we can go ahead and trace one X. Remember, boys and girls, when you're making a line plot, be really careful to transfer the data that you have in your data set onto your line plot carefully. You can do this by putting your numbers in order first to make sure that you've checked off each number and added to your line plot. Thanks for watching, boys and girls, and we'll see you next time. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.